Doesn't she just look like a chinchilla? I mean, really. <laughs> Hey guys, so today's video is going to be June favorites. I cannot believe how fast this summer, how fast this year is flying by, but I really hope you guys had a great July 4th weekend. Um, I had a blast. I spent most of the holiday weekend on a roof because that's what we do here in Philadelphia. Since we don't have a lot of outdoor space in the city, we end up spending a lot of the time um, crawling up to the top of the roof and just chilling up there. So it's actually really cool because instead of seeing one set of fireworks, you get to see like five or six at the same time. So it's actually pretty sweet. Yeah, that was pretty much my July 4th weekend. And I do have a million and one things to do before I leave on Thursday for BeautyCon LA. So Style Hall is actually sending me out there this year. And if you guys are around in the LA area on July 11th, please come on out and hang out. And if you don't have tickets yet, no worries, I got you covered. There's a little link in the info box down below where you can still pick up some tickets. So I hope you guys come on out and hang out. I have never been to BeautyCon on the West Coast, only BeautyCon New York, which was really, really fun. So I'm excited to see what BeautyCon LA is all about too. So why don't we get started with the fave? So this first product is a skincare product and sometimes I just know right away when I try something that it's gonna end up in next month's faves because it's just that good. And this was definitely one of those products. It was a love at first sight. This is the Basha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil, and it is meant to have a bit of a cooling effect, which to be honest with you, I haven't really noticed so much, but I love the other effects of this cleanser. So similar to how you can have a beauty oil as a moisturizer, this is an oil that is going to cleanse your skin and remove your makeup. Because it's an oil, you don't have to splash water on your face first, so you just wanna apply this dry and start massaging it in and sometimes I'll even let it sink in for a couple minutes and just walk around my house and do something else and I mean when can you ever do that when you're cleansing your skin it's crazy because it's an oil it just grips your face and it's not going to you know drip everywhere all over the place like a regular cleanser would so that's kind of a cool thing about it but the best part is the way that it makes my skin feel after I'm done I rarely ever forget to apply moisturizer because you know after you wash your face you just get that feeling where Ooh, my face feels really dry. I need to put on moisturizer. You don't really get that with this at all. It feels incredibly soft and hydrated. It just feels amazing. Like you just came out of a spa facial session or something like that. That's what I love about this product the most. It's really incredible actually. So again, this is the Basha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. So this next product was another one that was love at first sight. I talked about this in my most recent Sephora haul. It's the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And so this is a facial spray. And the first thing I love about this is that the actual little spray mechanism is really easy to control so you can get it exactly where you want it you can do it all over mist I don't feel like it gets in my hair as much as like fix plus or the urban decay setting sprays you could spray it all over or you can just do you know a couple spots and then blend it all the way in with a brush which is what I've been doing a lot lately there's a little um real techniques duo fiber like a little teeny tiny stippling brush that works really well for that or a lot of times I'll use this one by motives and so I'll just spray it on and just blend it all in in like downward motions pat it under my eyes to prime for my under eye concealer and then I'll sweep a little bit of the excess onto my lids and use it as an eyelid primer so that's just been my little routine with this lately and I just love the way that it looks it really hydrates your skin and kind of plumps up your skin and creates a nice base for makeup so I have been using this every single day and then I had to show some love to this pretty little bronzer by Makeup Forever this is the Pro Bronze Fusion and this is meant to be ultra natural undetectable and waterproof the shade that I have is 20M which was one of the warmer ones of the shade range because some of them were actually a bit more of a cool tone but I really do like this one again it's awesome especially for the summertime that it is long lasting and I have been wearing this one a lot especially Especially today because it is like 120 degrees in this room. <laughs> So I haven't really talked about brushes in a favorites video in a while because usually you guys know which ones are my favorite because I'll just use them constantly in my tutorials and it's, you know, pretty obvious which ones I really love. Usually Sigma and Real Techniques, but I wanted to show you these because these are by Tarte and I think they are just not only beautiful, but I think that they are just fantastic brushes. This first one is my fave and I'm not exactly sure the name of this one. I tried to look it up online 
and I could not find the name of it for the life of me but it's just this little it's a very very narrow dense angle brush and what I love to do with this one lately I've been taking this lighter shade from my Kat Von D shade and light contour palette and this one is called lyric and it's just a lighter yellowy color so after I've done all of my bronzer and contouring and everything I'll go back in I'll just go back in right underneath and just tap that right underneath to kind of set off my contour a little bit more and I actually already did it today so I don't want to do it too much but then you can just blend it down and it's like the perfect little brush to give you that like BAM contoured look blend that out a little bit okay and then this one is a double ended brush which I have talked about before I get kind of torn about sometimes because I usually store my brushes in cups so with the double ended brushes I feel like the one side that's down always gets a little bit damaged and messed up but I've been really surprised with these they've been holding up very well they're really high quality and I've been keeping them in the big brush cups back there and they've been fine so this one is more of a fluffy powder brush side but this other side is perfect for setting your under eye concealer it's the perfect softness and tapered shape so you can just kind of pop some powder right underneath your eyes very easily and then this little one is so cute it's like a little tiny kabuki and I love this for you know blending out under eye concealer or an eye base or sometimes just getting into those little nooks and crannies that your bigger flat top kabuki can't really reach like around your nose or a lot of times around my eyebrows as well so I have been absolutely loving these brushes and I just love how they have like the bamboo with the gold accent I just think they're really beautiful so this one is definitely an older favorite that I've kind of repurposed since it's been so hot and humid outside I like to waterproof my eyebrows with this and create a little eyebrow sandwich which I'll explain in a second this is the Anastasia clear brow gel what I do with this is I'll go through and before I fill in my eyebrows I'll sweep some of this brow gel through my eyebrows and then it really makes my brow whiz go on much more precise and a little bit darker so I can pretty much get away with just using the brow whiz to fill in my eyebrows it looks softer than using the pomade so it's a bit of a lighter brow which I really like but again you can get the brow whiz to look a little different if you do the clear gel before and then what I do is top it off with more clear gel so again it becomes a locked and loaded eyebrow sandwich and it really doesn't fade the color doesn't fade it doesn't melt in the heat so again I don't know if this is meant to be waterproof but it really does seem to work for my eyebrows and I've been loving this one I feel like I've said that about every single thing of course it's my favorite I've been loving it right and the next thing is this mascara by Too Faced this is called better than sex mascara I think that's the full name of it yes and it's a pink tube like this and the brush is actually a very very bristly brush but it is jumbo sized so it's very very jumbo sized it kind of reminds me of the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes formula it's kind of like a mousse like mascara formula but it just gives you so much volume I would definitely say that this mascara is geared more towards volume than length which is fine because a lot of times I'm popping false lashes on anyways but um, it's very very dark and it makes a lot of impact I'm getting it all over myself one thing I will say about this mascara though I wish it had a little bit more of a stopper on the tube because I feel like you get a lot of excess on the brush that I just end up scraping off so that's the one little thing that I would change if I could about this mascara but I really do like this I've been wearing this almost every single day also I have a couple of lip crayons to show you guys well what I like to call lip crayons I guess these are by Tarte and they're both I think these are both from the poppy picnic collection they're actually the lip surgeons lip creams which I really like because they're a bit more of a lipstick vibe they don't have a lot of shine to them just a little bit it's just more of a creamier opaque color and this one is a pink shade and this is called empowered and then the other one is serene and it's more of a nude so a lot of times I'll wear them separately or mix them together I just really like both of these colors a lot and then this next one is by bite beauty this is called the high pigment pencil in the color Syrah and it's funny because I was really close to returning this one even though I love the way that it looked swatched on my hand in Sephora when I got home I just thought that's a lot to pay for a little lip crayon but the color was even more gorgeous when I tried it on at home than when I tried it out in the store it's this 
peach shade. It has, again, a little bit of shine to it, but it's not too orange. It's not too light. It's just the right amount of brightness. It just looks very fresh and pretty. So I've been wearing this constantly. I love this one. And then this lipstick by MAC called Peach Stock, which is a satin finish. It's a little bit more peachy than Myth, so it doesn't wash you out quite as much as Myth lipstick, but it's not too orange at the same time. It's just a nice middle of the road peachy beigey nude color so I've been wearing this one a lot and then also this clear gloss by L'Oreal the color Riche Le Gloss which I always have to say like that Le Gloss for some reason this is number 150 naturally nude which is actually a clear as you can see and I have not worn clear gloss in like four years or something crazy like that and I don't know why recently I've just been really into it and one thing that I like it for is to just give that really glassy almost wet look to your lips which is really pretty it almost gives like a dewy look to the lips which is nice for the summertime and one other little benefit to this that I've realized is it's nice if you don't want to add another color on top of your lipstick with a colored gloss but you want to smooth everything out and blend all the colors together you can pat it in and it just looks like your lipstick but smoother so I've discovered another little benefit to a clear gloss as well and the last thing I have to show you guys is this polish by OPI and this one is called Sweetheart and my friend Renee gave this to me as a bridesmaid gift for being in her wedding and it is the prettiest color I can't believe I never knew about this because it is my new favorite nail polish color it is a very feminine sweet pink but it's probably about 90% opaque it has a little bit of translucence to it it's just a touch sheer which I think is so pretty and different because usually I go for the really opaque colors but this one is just a little bit softer and again very feminine I absolutely love this color so much and it looks really pretty if you have long nails too I was definitely rocking this a lot when I had my acrylics. So those are all of my favorites for the month of June. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'm going to go turn that air conditioner back on because I am sweating. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. And to everybody who's going to be at BeautyCon LA this weekend, I will see you there. And I'll see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye!